Welcome to the vlog, pregnancy edition. First time getting my camera out in probably a month and a half, maybe two months. Oh, look how cute that is. Little leaf just chilling right there. Adorable. I don't really want to have the camera out, but I knew I would regret not filming this occasion. I have had quite a rough last couple few weeks. Um, today I am eight weeks and three days pregnant and from exactly the day I turned exactly six weeks until now I have had pretty much 24-7 nausea and I'm just not a very good nauseous person <laughs> I've experienced morning sickness but it's not just morning it's all day every day I've only thrown up once thank the Lord above but um, I may as well have because I've just been so nauseous. Here's right guy. Make it more nauseous. Here's right guy. He's been the sweetest, most amazing husband, supportive throughout this journey, and we are overjoyed that we are pregnant. Could not be happier. It's just been, it's been a rough go. I've had, along with the nausea, I've had headaches. I've had um, insomnia. I've had nasal congestion, um, cravings and aver cravings and aversions to foods, and major fatigue. A little bit of like lightheadedness, dizziness here and there. Uh, but the main one being nausea. And I also have acne, which I did a really good job trying to cover it up. There you go, you can kind of see. It's a lot of like little pimples everywhere which not really had this type of acne before so it's interesting um, but yeah even sitting here talking to you guys I just feel very sick and unwell so but we are on our way to our first appointment we're gonna get to see baby <laughs> and it's the only thing that's been getting us through these last couple weeks cannot wait to see the little nugget. Our nugget is the size of a kidney bean this week. It's gonna be a pecan soon. Yep, I think next week it obviously gets even bigger. I don't know if it's what they correlated to, but pecan sounds good. Pecan. Um, so yeah, we're heading to our eight week appointment. Obviously you guys won't see this video for a little bit, but we will update you and let you know how everything went. And just excited to have an actual exam, get my blood tests or get my blood drawn, get all the get all my numbers situated, uh, make sure that baby's getting everything that he or she needs, and that I'm getting everything I need as well. So, good Ooh. lord, this bus! Yeah, it's a very rainy Seattle day, about 55 degrees out, and it's definitely fall here. It's been fall for the last couple weeks, which has been nice. Uh, I will say, going outside when it's cold has slightly helped my nausea yeah, better but, than the heat. <clears throat> yeah I'm definitely not gonna sugarcoat it it's been hardest thing I've ever done and um, working full-time through this time has been very 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 challenging going to work at 5 or waking up at 5 30 going to work at 6 15 nauseous is probably one of the worst things I've ever had to do and yeah it's just not it's not rainbows and butterflies over here i have not been the most amazing pregnant person so far but says who says me well be kinder to yourself okay thank you you've been the worst <laughs> brian's been so sweet and so caring and so loving and has done everything he can he just tries to make sure that i have some food that sounds good um so far, I have been able to eat toast, lots of toast, um, sometimes with peanut butter and honey, sometimes with cinnamon sugar. Mm -hmm. This some morning, like I had soups some are eggs. a little more of the newer trend. Yeah, although the last couple attempts at soup were not great. Yeah, you go, it tastes. 
<laughs> tastes, yeah, it tasted like vomit to me today, but like I know it's so nutrient dense and it should just taste so good, but it just doesn't. Oh, even thinking about it makes me want to puke. But what else? I've been really enjoying fruit, so like peaches, pineapple. Anything orange flavored. Yeah, oranges, tangerines have Which, been really good. Although the one morning I threw up, I had um, half a banana and like a bunch of green grapes because green grapes were sounding so good to me and threw them up right away. So I haven't had green grapes since, but um, fruit has been sounding so good and it's been tasting really good. <clears throat> so I've at least been getting some nutrients from fruit. <laughs> And then my main protein sources have probably been peanut butter, eggs here and there. Eggs sounded really good this morning, thank goodness. Um, and then when I can, if I ever crave, like yesterday I craved a burger, so we got a burger and then he brought it home and I couldn't eat it for like an hour and a half because I got so nauseous and then thankfully it sounded good again so I ate it cold once I woke up from a nap, which is so gross, but. It's like a reward. It's just like the weirdest roller coaster. I'm either so nauseous or I'm so hungry for one specific thing. And if I don't eat that one specific thing, nothing else sounds good. It's like the most bizarre roller coaster ever. But we're on our way to the OBGYN and we are still in Seattle. So um, obviously you guys, if you watched the last few vlogs, we said we were trying to conceive and looky there, it didn't take us very long. But we just weren't sure. We didn't know how long it was going to take us. So we were fully prepared if it did happen right away. And um, I feel like we were pretty mentally prepared if it did take us a while. So we've enjoyed the whole process as much as possible. I just have definitely not been feeling like myself lately. I, you guys probably have caught on through the last few weeks on Instagram. But I just <clears throat> can't really post. I can't find motivation like the fact that I did my makeup and my hair today is insane. Sorry we're going through a tunnel, it's gonna get dark. But anywho, um, oh the sun's coming out baby. Mm -hmm. Just in time to see our baby. Baby baby son. Baby Momo. But my family was in town last week, it was really nice to see them. We, I had a good couple days miraculously because those were the first good days I've had in over two weeks and then I got hit really hard again Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today's Wednesday. So I'm hoping that this appointment just gives us lots of clarity and get all of our questions answered and that we get to see baby's heartbeat and um, just give us that push to kind of keep going and obviously we're gonna keep going but um, just can't wait to see the baby. It's been a long time waiting for some professional help because no one will answer your questions until they see you and they won't see you until at least eight weeks. Yeah, it is interesting. I will say, like, looking back, I feel like I just put a lot of trust into the system because I am in healthcare, I've been a nurse for seven years, like I do trust the system. However, in this instance, and I will say, like, I haven't had any crazy out there symptoms like bleeding, major cramping, like anything that would worry me up until this point. Like I feel very, very pregnant and all my symptoms are telling me that I'm pregnant and health, like have carrying a healthy baby. However, it is nerve wracking and it is very lonely and can feel not right that you don't get to see anyone until eight weeks. Now, had I, asked to see someone sooner or expressed concern, I'm sure that I could have gotten, like I'm sure we could have gotten in sooner. So I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, I've tried so many times to get in sooner or you know, no one will answer anything for me. To be honest, I just like, I trusted the process that they had in place, which is eight weeks and then 12 weeks <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. But um, it is interesting that because we are in Seattle, I haven't seen this OB before. They, yeah, they aren't able to give me any sort of like health information. So for example, one of the first weeks that, or like the first week we found out I was pregnant, I felt like I was starting to get a cold sore and I was like, oh my gosh, can I take my acyclovir? Like I have no idea. And so I tried to call the doctor and they're like, oh, we can't give out any personal, we can't give out any health advice actually to you because you haven't been seen as a patient. So that was frustrating. 
And then I tried to call my OB back in Colorado that obviously saw me through my whole IUD thing, my surgery, all of that. And never got through to anybody, left a voicemail on the nurse triage line and nobody ever called me back either. So that was weird. Um, again, could have just been a fluke thing. I didn't try a million times because like once we told our families and I had more opinions to kind of like bounce my questions off of. Ryan's mom's a nurse practitioner. My mom has had three babies of her own. And so now that we've told our close family um, and some of my friends that have been newly pregnant, I felt like I was starting to get some of my questions answered and just like had a little bit more peace of mind. So that was helpful. But yeah, it is interesting at the beginning of pregnancy because your body's having so many changes emotionally, physically, mentally I've had like a lot of changes going on but you're not really showing yet you're not really telling people yet it's like such a weird time and if you're like me you feel horrible so it's been it's been a process but we are excited to finally see the doctor actually today we're seeing the nurse practitioner get an ultrasound get the blood work done and just get more information so Super, super, super excited. Even it's though it's gonna show her that the baby's got that dog in him. That dog energy. Dog in him. Um, yeah, we are so excited to see our baby. And for the rest of this process, I'm hoping and praying and telling myself that it's only gonna get better from here. I realistically know that that could not be the case, but I tell myself that every day so that I can continue on and keep growing this healthy baby. So. Those are the updates, lots of them. And yeah, hopefully I can kind of do more frequent check-ins with you now that I'm going to my first appointment. I think for the first while, it was like we found out when I was four weeks exactly. So on our anniversary. On our anniversary, on our one year anniversary in Vancouver, which I'm sure at this point we've probably like posted some of those things, but um, it was the best anniversary present ever and I just like can't even explain that feeling of us finding out we were pregnant with our first baby. Like it just was surreal, magical, most amazing thing ever. And then um, I felt really good for two full weeks. So I'm so thankful for that time because I was so excited and we just got to like really enjoy being pregnant yeah. before everything just kind of hit, hit the me fan like, yeah it hit me like a freight train to be honest it really was like i felt so good that friday night that everyone was over and we were playing salad bowl yeah and i remember thinking to myself like wow i feel so normal like i have so much energy this is just so great like oh i love being pregnant and then that night the flip switched and it was horrible nausea and just didn't sleep the insomnia is wild um and anyway so i'm also having like i have very large tender boobs and large <laughs> tender melons i'm also having which i haven't heard a lot of people talk about because i've of course like been down rabbit holes of watching first trimester vlogs and first trimester videos and everything and I haven't heard a lot of people say this one but I'm having a lot of increased like saliva production it sounds so weird and gross but I'm like Salivary having to spit all the time because the taste in my mouth is so disgusting that all the time like no matter what like I just brush my teeth and I have the worst taste in my mouth so that has been a really unpleasant symptom as well because it just adds to the nausea constantly it's just like this underlying feeling of just grossness hey, all the time well enough about that we're hoping better days are ahead and just praying for continued strength and growth and support during this time because it's rough it's rough and I feel so lucky that I even get to experience all of this but it's I'm not gonna sugarcoat it so we are almost there we are eight minutes away and it's just turned into a really beautiful Seattle afternoon I don't know if you guys can see that but the sun's just kind of poked through the clouds it stopped raining <sighs> It's been raining so much the last few days, which has also made it 
tough to like want to get out of bed and get motivated to do anything. All right, Daddy O, any any last words before we go in? I'm going to get you there, dear. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too, baby. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just focused on a little bit. Yeah. You're good. And we love you guys, and we're glad to hopefully be able to share this with you all. And hopefully, by the time I'm editing and posting this video, we are so much further down the road, and I can look back on this and just be grateful and have it all be a distant memory because I'll just be so focused on like the next stage of pregnancy. That is the hope and the prayer. And every mom I've ever asked has said, you forget about how sick you were. Like you just forget about these gross feelings, the nausea, the vomiting, like you just forget about it because everything is so worth it. And every new stage is so beautiful and just, amazing and a miracle truly so um i know i have that to look forward to i know it's all worth it and i would do it over and over and over again i just want to be real all right love you guys we'll Whoa, probably show we're gonna you, get baby pector i'll show you the photos maybe we'll show you i'll try to have ryan record a little bit because i really do want to have this all like documented for us to look back on someday and just remember our first baby. Oh my god, now I'm gonna get emotional already. Okay. But you're not nauseous. When I do cry and like have a huge emotional release, it takes the nausea away for about three minutes. So that's been nice. Um, I try to do that at least once a day, you know, just to give myself a little bit of a break. Okay, we love you. We'll see you after we see our baby. See you soon. Hello guys. Wow, long time no long time no chat. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in a good area. I might just have to do that for now. Okay, welcome back. Currently I am 12 weeks and six days pregnant and we are i'm getting ready in the car to go to our oh, uh 12 week ultrasound so we're gonna get to see baby again very soon and i'm not sure if by the time this vlog comes out if you guys will know the gender or not but we know the gender and i probably posted a separate gender reveal already um but rise inside getting us coffees i finally can drink coffee again. I'm in a lot better of a place than I was the last time you guys probably saw me <laughs> in this vlog, which I believe was, yeah, going to the eight week appointment. So I turned a corner around 10 weeks. I am doing so much better. I still, I like dry heaved and threw up a little bit this morning, but it's, my nausea is so much better. I don't feel nauseous constantly. They had the Christmas cups. All right, here he comes. Here comes big daddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christmas cups. They have the Christmas cups. I was worried because it's a safe way that was that they weren't gonna have them. All right, just hang tight there for a sec, camera. I'm just filling everybody in, babe. What we doing? So yeah, last time we updated you guys, I was we were heading to our eight-week appointment, and now I'm so happy to say that we are almost out of the first trimester. Crazy. It's like we're gonna make good times. So. Okay, great. Oh yeah. Wow, the traffic really died down. Yeah, it did. So yeah, we're on our way to our 12-week appointment and coffee order was, this is a oat milk sugar, sugar cookie, cookie latte. latte. Half sweetened, of course. Babe, what'd you get? Um, I got the- Is festive? That's a cocoa dog. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I got the uh, 
drip Christmas blend. <laughs> oh my gosh, classic. Rye's just a drip coffee kind Chico, of guy. Drip Let's oh see boy. if this works. I don't know how long that's gonna see, that's stick. That's where we got the food from oh. last night, right there. Is that it or why? Sorry babe, could you help me for a second? Yeah, of oh, right there? Uh -huh. Oh nice, perfect. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna not do my makeup while I, you guys are while I'm holding this because I can't find a good spot in this car. We need to get like a... More attachments for the princess I mean, seat. I could use this. Can I use this for a second? I guess you can. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. Okay, anyways. Moving. Whew. Yeah, so doing my makeup in the car because I'm running late per usual and well, we're actually on time, but I didn't for, I didn't have time to do it before right. I left the house. Um, so yeah, my I turned a corner around 10 weeks is what I was trying to say. Oh my god, I'm so hot all of a sudden. And <laughs> pregnancy. Good lord. Um, turned a corner around 10 weeks. I started feeling better. I had like a really bad day. My not my last day of nine weeks. I remember I stayed in bed the entire day. Did not feel well at all. And then woke up at 10 weeks and made myself breakfast, like cleaned the kitchen. Ryan was like, what has gotten into you? And I was like, I don't know, I just feel so much better. She got up and she was just like I'm making pancakes. Yeah, I started making pancakes. I was okay. craving them. It sounded so good. So, anyways, um, very grateful that my nausea was only, it was about a month and a half of straight nausea. Um, so, from week six to week 10, I guess that's only six, Four. seven, eight, nine, ten, five weeks technically. Um, so, yeah, all in all, very very grateful for that like I said I still wake up sometimes and it's mostly just my gag reflex now like I just I'm still gaggy but I'm not having constant nausea and it's really good through most of the day I have a little bit more energy and then at like 5 o'clock p.m. is usually when the nausea starts to kick in again and then I usually don't feel great in the evenings from like 5 until I go to bed but oh even talking about my gag reflex Hold it in, okay. Anyways, um, my symptoms now are mostly just constipation, so like stomach cramping and just kind of generalized discomfort, and um, my boobs are still huge and really sore. And I'm starting to get like some back aches, back pain. Let's see how long this lasts. Okay. Give this, oh, the smell. Delectable. Smell that. Mm. Does it smell like sugar cookies? Yeah. Mm. Sure does. Well, I'm also getting a cold sore, so the immune system is down, but thankfully, knock on wood, haven't caught any colds, RSV, COVID. Seriously, gonna knock on wood. Um, I've been wearing my mask all day, every day at work, and just like being really cautious of where we're going, who we're around, because I know all that stuff's going around. So being really cautious and careful. Um, but yeah, grateful that I've stayed healthy thus far. We've both had our flu shots and yeah. we are warding off any of the bad stuff going around. And yeah, so yesterday we went and we got to hear Baby Girl's Heartbeat, which was so cool. I was, we were both really nervous going to that appointment because it had been since eight weeks. So it had been for a little over four weeks since we got to see the baby or got to, you know, do any sort of testing or anything. So, um, or I guess we did the genetic test in between there. So, but yeah, we got our genetic test back and we know the gender. We're not going to say yet on here, but you'll know soon. And it's going to be human. Yes. And all the genetic testing came back negative or normal, which is exactly what you want. And then, excuse me, I also work a lot. It's lovely. And then we, yeah, we got to hear the heartbeat yesterday and just chat with our OB. And then today we're going to um, a maternal fetal medicine place that can give us more information on like other genetic testing and things like that if we wanted to do anything further than just the regular blood test at 10 weeks. And then there's another one at 16 weeks that test for like spina bifida and all that jazz. So anyways, we'll keep you guys posted. We're so excited to see the baby. <laughs> the baby's gonna look like a real baby now, which is so great. Now that we know the gender, I just said it like four times. It's so hard not to call the baby by what it is now because we can. 
Yeah. So, anywho. But um, it's just baby as far as you guys know. It's just baby as far as you guys care. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my gosh, I have missed this drink. It's pretty much just coffee candy is what it is. Oh, I got a decaf, by the way. This is a decaf sugar Yeah, how long, oh, how long were you not able to drink coffee? I didn't drink coffee from week six till week ten. Yeah, so. At five weeks. Five weeks. No coffee, none. Zero. Zilch, nada. Also, just no caffeine in general. Like I, I guess occasionally I had some like sips of a soda, or I'd have like an iced tea here and there. But yeah. So, anyways, I also get headaches now, and my OB yesterday was saying that the caffeine can really help with that. So. I've been loving having coffee again. My 200 milligrams or less a day. I usually, if I'm ordering actual coffee, I just order it decaf. If I'm making it at home, I'll have like a regular uh, cup of coffee that- Momo just, triple shot. <laughs> um, that we make in like the French press, so. Anyways, okay, I think that's mostly the updates. It is currently- 44 degrees. November and it's 44 degrees here. It's freezing. It finally, it's like I'm kind of feeling like winter almost. But the leaves are all still really pretty colored because it's been raining so much. So that's been nice. Makes it feel really fall and cozy. But we're really missing home. We are so excited to go home for Thanksgiving. We're going to Utah for Thanksgiving and then we're going to New Zealand for Christmas. And don't worry, my OB has cleared us to go. Everything looks good. She said it's a great time to travel. She gave us some pointers just like for the plane and things like that. But she said it'll be totally safe to go. Um, obviously, it's a very long travel day. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be well prepared. I'm gonna wear my compression socks, my compression leggings, get up every couple hours. Um, yeah, but we're so excited. We're gonna be in New Zealand for Christmas and New Year's. So it's gonna be, both of our first non-white Christmas. Yeah. So you had one in Texas. Yeah. But that's it's gonna be an interesting change. It's gonna be weird being in the part of the world that where the temperature is gonna be pretty hot. <laughs> for it's all. gonna be like 80, 75 Oops. to 80 degrees. It's summer in New Zealand, obviously when it's winter here. So it's gonna be humid. Ryan's sister's getting married. We're so excited. And my bump's gonna be pretty big by then. So bump gonna we'll be bumping. Some cute bump beach pics. And we're really excited. But it's also like, feels like the countdown to Christmas is on now because we're not gonna really have a true Christmas. Yeah. Like with a Christmas tree and lights and snow. And that's what we've always traditionally had. So it's gonna be different this year. I think we're gonna try to do a bunch of Christmas type activities leading up until when we leave just to make sure we get our fix and like when we go home for Thanksgiving we're gonna get my family's Christmas tree which we Maybe traditionally do anyways or? I think so well actually they haven't done that in a couple years they haven't gotten a permit so we'll see but anyways um and then yeah we're jetting off to the other side of the world Feeling a lot of different things. All good. All just very, very good. Daddy just I think there's a lot of things that run through your mind about are you gonna be gonna be a good parent? Like are they gonna like you? All things, some that you can control, others that obviously you can't. Most are pretty unrealistic and just thoughts that shouldn't be there, but I think if you're not real. yeah, if you're not not having them then maybe something's wrong <laughs> um, I'm so excited to meet the baby cannot wait I, just, I do know that I will always be there regardless Good always be dad. there did you see that you're gonna be the best dad don't even worry oh our battery's flashing shoot Gotta go. Don't think I brought another one, but we love you guys. We will touch base again after our appointment and let you know how everything goes. Be the best mommy. 